It has been a year since I've had the iPhone 11 Pro Max and tomorrow the iPhone 12 is here and this is my goodbye to the iPhone 11 Pro Max and it's not a, oh, a year review or whatever because we know that these phones are really good but what I want to talk about is my favourite things about the iPhone 11 Pro Max and if anyone should really be upgrading. First of all, a year ago, I said that the 11 Pro Max was the most boring iPhone that Apple had introduced. And I kind of stick by that just a little bit because there was no massive upgrades from the iPhone 10 and the 10s the couple of years before, except it did add that wide angle camera, which I really enjoy. I think it's probably one of the best things that Apple have introduced in a while. And then alongside that wide angle lens, we obviously then got night mode as well, which was a really nice upgrade. But the cameras are something that I haven't used a lot on the phone really. And it's a shame because I really wanted to come on and say, oh, the cameras are fantastic and everything. But for that, you can probably see someone else's video and they will tell you all about the cameras. But I think next year, what I wanna change, I say next year, tomorrow, what I wanna change is that when I get my hands on the iPhone 12, that I wanna try and use the cameras a little bit more because they've got that LiDAR sensor and everything that comes with that new phone. But on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the cameras have been brilliant, but my favorite thing about it is the video that you can take on these cameras because they're just good. And that's what the iPhone 11 Pro is. It's a good phone. It's nothing special. It's nothing out there. It's nothing unique really it's just a good phone and apple do this so often now where they just make good phones they don't adopt early technology they don't do something that you've never seen before they leave that to people like samsung and maybe huawei and people like that but when apple make a phone they make it right and that's why when they introduced night mode it was a big thing because apple had never done that and then they did it really well and i think probably do it better than some other people like google for example one thing that i do enjoy about the phone and enjoy a lot is their battery life on the 11 pro max like oh it was an absolute dream and still is an absolute dream you can go over a day without charging it and feel comfortable going a day without charging it and what i like is it doesn't make you think about it you just know that the battery is going to be good and that's what you want in a phone and if there's anything that i'm going to miss when i go to the 12 pro in the next couple of days it's going to be that smaller battery life and the fact that it might not last a whole day when i want it to but that is something that i really enjoyed on the 11 pro and the other thing that i loved and it sounds weird saying it and I've said it a thousand times but that matte finish on the back of the phone was oh it was so good it was such a nice upgrade from having that glossy rubbish finish and I know that's still around on the new 12s but it isn't around on the 12 pro so to have that glossy back and that little finish it makes it feel a bit more premium even though it's not massively more premium it just makes it feel it and that's what you want with a pro phone of course ios and the software on the 11 pro has been fantastic all the way through the only problems i've ever had of when i've updated to the latest betas and things like that which if you're watching don't upgrade to betas on your main phone because it just isn't worth it at all but everything else through normal ios just works you get the odd hiccup here and there where things don't work as well as you might want them to but you know it's stock ios it's one of the best operating systems out there and i love it i really enjoy it and that's why i keep coming back to iphone throughout the year i've chopped and changed phones from going through oneplus phones googles i was on the z fold 2 at some point as well but apple and the iphone keep drawing me back and i think it is the main thing is that software and it's boringness like i know people are like oh we should be able to do so much more with it and now from ios 14 obviously you can do a lot more with it but i just like that stock apple feel and i know where everything is and like i said everything just works there isn't much to say on the design of the 11 pro because that was pretty much the same as it has been the past couple of years there was no decrease in the notch there was no 
anything really that changed. And that's why I said it was one of the most boring upgrades that Apple had ever did. Because if you had the iPhone 10 from a couple of years before, the 10s was no reason to upgrade at all. And the 11 Pro, the only reason to upgrade that one was if you wanted that wide angle camera lens. But design wise, really, if we exclude that matte finish on the back, was exactly the same. And I enjoyed it, but it is time for the upgrade. The phone now feels dated and I can't wait to get hold of that 12 Pro tomorrow and just get those flat edges and it brings everything within the Apple ecosphere a little bit closer together. You know, the iPads have those flat edges now as well. And I think that it'll be really nice to finally get back to that. And it is the design of what the iPhone 5 was, which was one of my favorite Apple phones of all time. I think what I'm trying to say about the 11 Pro was that overall, I think this might be my favorite iPhone that I've ever had. And I know the updates were incremental. They were small and tiny, but the things that they did on this, they did really well. So that battery life, which I mentioned earlier on, incredible. The cameras, they this year took a step up and went closer and closer to things like you know, the ultimate picture king, camera king, which is Pixel. You introduce something like night mode, which then battles some of these people that have had it for years. You update the iOS to iOS 14 to allow you to use widgets, which makes the phone feel really different. It's just the 11 Pro over the past 12 months, just over 12 months, has been my favorite iPhone that I've ever used. And it's quite hard to say goodbye to the 11 Pro because there's a little small part of me that wants to keep hold of it, but because I do YouTube and I enjoy tech, I want to have the best stuff all the time. But if you're watching this and you have an 11 Pro and you're thinking about updating, I don't know if it's worth it, but it is time to say goodbye to the 11 Pro and welcome the future, the change, which is the iPhone 12 Pro.